Hello everyone, today I will show you how to compose a song using this cool website called noteflight.com. So in fact, I'm already on this website, noteflight.com, which is on the top right here. And you need to go to the sign in button on the top right. So I'll just click on that. If you don't have an account with NoteFlight, you can create one. You see this new to NoteFlight, create an account. So you just need to put your email address or your mom's or dad's email address. And then I'm not a robot. And then just click on it, create an account. And it's totally free. Since I already have an account, I'm just going to sign in. Okay, you want to go to the top left where it says create. So today we're just going to create a very simple four bar composition only on a G clef or treble clef. So the third one here, treble clef, and then click OK. All right, now you can see that you have a G clef, you have a 4-4. Four, four. What is 4-4? Four, four? It means four beats in a bar. So if you change your mind, you don't want it to be a 4-4, four, four, and then you said, I want it to be a 3-4, click on that time signature, and then make sure it turns um, into a different color. And then you change to three and then hit OK. Now it's three, four. If you want to change to two, four, you can click again to two, click OK. Now, but today we're just going to stick with four, four. Or you can use C common time. It's exactly the same thing as four, four, but I'm just going to stay with four, four, click OK. Now. To start your song, you just need to click on the first box or the first bar right here. Click. Now you see that the orange color around this box. So you can see too, when I move my finger up and down, you can see that the cursor is actually forming notes. Okay. Today we're just going to use five different notes. Do, Re, Mi, Fa, Sol. Very simple. And then we're going to end the song on Do. Now, I'm going to start by clicking on the, that's my middle Do. That's it. Make sure that your speaker is on so um, you can hear the, um, the sound on your computer. Or iPad, you can use this on iPad as well. It works really great. And how about my second note, Ray? And then how about the third note? I would like to use Fa. Okay. Hmm. I don't want this as a quarter note. I want to use a half note in this for this note. So what you can do is you go to the this I call it sandwich icon or the three lines and click on it. The third one, duration, you see that now you have whole note, half note, quarter note, eighth note, sixteenth, you want to go to half note. Now it changed to a half note. Okay, and then let's work on the next bar. Okay, it's me, but hmm, I don't want this to be um half note. How about a dotted half note? So again, you go to the duration again, the same thing. Okay, and then you want to go to the rhythm dot. So click on it. Now it becomes a dotted half note me. Okay, for the next one, I use sol. Okay. Okay. So for the next bar, there's another way to do this. If you don't know exactly where the notes are on the staff, what you can do is from the beginning, you can always use a keyboard. You can go to the top where it says keyboard. Ta-da! You'll see the keyboard display at the bottom. 
this is easier for younger kids to use um, so they don't have to know exactly where the notes are on the staff. So when you see C4 right here, this is middle Do. So we're just going to use Do, Re, Mi, Fa, Sol. Okay, so for example, on this bar, I'm not going to use my cursor anymore. I'm just going to hit Re. See that? Now re. Okay. And then the next note. And I want this to be a um, quarter note, so change it back again. The same thing. You can go to half note. And then let's add it on do. That's it. Now the cool thing about this website is actually will play your song. So you don't need to play on your keyboard um, or piano at home. The website will play it for you. So you will um, hear exactly what it sounds like. So what you can do is bring the cursor all the way to the beginning, to the first note, or you can even highlight the first bar like that and then hit play. So that's my song, okay? And now, let's do this. You see that I have an extra bar and we don't need that because we want to delete that bar because we don't need that bar at all because this is my, this is the end of my song. So what you can do is go to the measure on the left and then click minus. So it will delete that bar for you. That's it. Now, later, if you said, oh, I would like to expand my song to be maybe eight bars, what you can do is click on the last bar and hit plus sign. Make sure you hit the one with the bar line and then a plus sign, and then it will add the bars for you. And then if you want to delete, you can just delete back and then hit minus. Make sure you highlight it again, minus, highlight it again, minus, highlight it again, minus. Now, what is the first plus sign here during the beginning? So this is for you if you want to add something in between the bar. So right before the bar that you want. So for example, if you want to add something between bar three and four, if you feel like um re mi fa re so fa mi re and then mi do so if you want to um do that then you hit the plus sign right here and then it will create an extra bar in between there you go and then if you change your mind again you just hit minus to delete okay so that's your song and how about we name our song so today i have my friend with me you see this this is baby shark and then i'm going to name my song good night shark Make it a little fancier. Okay, so and then composer, that's my name. Of course, you put your name on that because that's um, you're the one composing your own song. Okay, and you don't have to worry the one, uh, the one on the left right here. And this one will actually, um, if you print your um, music, it will not appear on your paper. 
Okay, and then for this one, the quarter note equal 120, this is just the metronome marking. If you don't want this, you can click on it, make sure it's orange or a different color, and then hit delete. It will delete for you. And of course, the last thing that you want to do, you want to print or you want to save. So you again, you go to the sandwich icon, you go to the score, you go to print. You go to print full score and then you hit continue. Download PDF, click save to complete exporting the PDF. Click save. Okay. And then that's my PDF. And all you need to do is just print it out. Isn't that cool? So that's my song. And how about you create one and then share it with your family? So, thank you for watching, everyone. Good night.